And uh, Caroline, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks so much for having us. <laughs> All right, let's toss things over to John. It's a rather common occurrence. One of your friends has an online account hacked, but doesn't have a clue how it happened. Most people understand the need to stay secure online, but many are relying on information that is either out of date or just plain wrong. With online threats consistently changing and becoming more sophisticated, it's harder than ever to tell the difference between cyber myth and reality. Joining us this morning is Kevin Haley, Director of Security Technology and responsible for Norton by Systematic to discuss and debunk some of those common cybersecurity myths. Kevin, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Well, let's get right into this. Uh, regarding some common myths, some people think that mobile phones aren't a target for cyber criminals. Can you uh, shed some light on what's true and what's not there? Well, that's not true. Uh, they're a very tempting target. What people don't realize is how much information and how valuable that information is that they have on their phones. We have our personal information, our work information, bank accounts, the contact information. The bad guys realize all that information's on the phone and they're figuring out how to steal it. Scary stuff right there. And Kevin, a lot of people think that Macs mm -hmm. can't be attacked, that they're not targets for uh, cybersecurity issues. Is that still the case? No, that's another myth. Uh, Macs can be targeted. There certainly isn't as much malware as there is on PC, but what there is can be really effective. Uh, we saw one thread in 2012 that spread to over 600,000 Macs. That's one in every 100 Macs in the whole world. So Macintosh users really need to protect themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about uh, these online social networks, the Facebook, the Twitter. You can get viruses mm. and cybersecurity issues passed through those networks as well, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the bad guys are going there because that's where we are. They're following us. And because in a social network we feel like we're surrounded by our friends, it's a little easier to fool us, to con us. So the bad guys take advantage of that and they, and they go after us, pretending to be our friends, uh, tricking us into downloading malware or filling out uh, fake surveys where we end up giving away personal information. Uh, so people need to be careful on social networks as well. Well, Kevin, we've identified a lot of the targets, a lot of the problems. What can we do to protect ourselves from these hackers out there? Well, first of all, we need to expose these myths. Uh, people need to understand the risks involved. They just need to be careful, use good common sense, uh, think before they click, and uh, always get help or have help with you. I think a good security product is really important for everybody to have, whether it's on a PC, a Mac, or a mobile device. All right, now you just came out with a, a recent report. Are any uh, kind of factors in that report that really surprised you? Yes, you know, probably the biggest surprise was how uh, popular or how widespread ransomware is. Ransomware is a con where the bad guys get on your computer, they pretend it's the FBI and that you've committed some horrible crime and your computer's been frozen. The only way to get the computer back is to pay the fee or fine. Well, actually you're paying a ransom. The FBI doesn't have your computer, it's the bad guys and you're unlikely to ever get your computer unfrozen or to see that ransom money ever again. Sounds like a pretty scary one there. Kevin, where can we go for more information? Well, you can go up to our website. We've got some great information there, including the threat report, semantic.com slash threat report. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. We appreciate your time. You bet. Much more Low Country Live coming up right after the break, so make sure you stay with us.